Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So you can tell by the title that I'm showing you guys how I prep for photo shoots. I have been a model for the last seven years and I don't talk about it a whole lot but there's quite a bit of prep that goes into photo shoots and the thing about being a model is that you kind of always have to be ready. You have to stay ready and you have to kind of be on top of your game at all times because you don't know when you're going to get the call or the email that you booked a job for tomorrow. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys how I stay ready and how I prep for photo shoots, but how I also don't let it take over my entire life. And I wanted to start it off with skincare. At photo shoots, you know, you don't have control of what makeup, what products they're putting on your face. And I have pretty sensitive skin, so the one thing I love is that I can be in control of what I use at home and I thought I would show you guys that right now. This video is actually sponsored by Curology, which I'm so excited about, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into my nighttime skincare routine. So how Curology works is you go online and you take this quiz that asks you all these questions about your skin and then Curology connects you with a dermatology provider who analyzes your skin and prescribes you a custom formula. So this is my custom formula right here. This is what it looks like. The bottle is so pretty and looks pretty sitting on your counter as well. So the licensed dermatology provider prescribes you this custom cream made just for you. It has my name on the back, which I think is really cool, and then the ingredients that the provider prescribed to me. And I think it's so cool that you can get prescription grade ingredients without having to go sit in a doctor's office for an hour. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I use the products. Okay, so step one is the cleanser. I love this cleanser. It is unscented, which I love because I have very sensitive skin and fragrance usually upsets my skin. It also just leaves my face feeling really clean without stripping my skin or clogging my pores. So I do about that much cleanser. And because this cleanser is so gentle, you can use it both morning and night. And then I just cleanse my face. feels so good. It makes your face just feel so clean. Okay, next up in the routine is the custom cream, which I already told you guys all about. And this is how it looks. It's just white, no scent or anything. And then I just apply it pretty much all over. I really like to um, focus on my cheeks and my forehead. Another thing that I feel like a lot of people don't know about Curology is that it's not just for acne. It also is preventative skincare for fine lines, aging skin, wrinkles, and it helps with the texture and also the brightness of your skin. I am 25 now. I've been like paying more attention to my skin and how it's kind of aging. I feel like I'm actually noticing like Oh, like little wrinkles not going away now, which is weird all in itself, but I love that Curology is helping me out with that. Okay, so step three is the rich moisturizer. I love a heavy duty moisturizer, and this one gives you all the hydration without clogging your pores. And I have very, I mean, I've already told you guys, I have sensitive skin, but it's also dry. And this moisturizer really helps me out with that. I've noticed that since cleaning up my skincare routine and just sticking to these simple products, my dry skin and overall texture of my face has really improved, which I love. So this moisturizer really adds moisture to your skin and then it locks it in all night. And it also kind of relaxes and calms down your skin. So another really cool thing about Curology is that I can go online at any time and connect with my dermatology provider and let them know if my skin has changed at all, if I have new concerns, and they can adjust my custom cream. It takes the guessing work out of skincare. You don't have to like try all these different products just to hope that they might work. You just talk to a licensed provider, they figure it out, and they send you awesome skincare. And I'll give you guys a little bit close up of my skin texture. The texture has improved a lot. It's helped address these little fine lines that I have around my eye. And I also feel like it's helped with the elasticity of my skin. And I'm still kind of on the younger side to be talking about anti-aging skincare but this really is preventative and the best way to make sure your skin's gonna look good in 10 years, in 20 years, is to start now. 
So Curology is really helping me with that. Okay, so that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I will put all the info down below. Also, I can't forget to mention that Curology's first month is free. You just have to pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. So you guys, you could pay under $5 to have a custom skincare routine. So definitely check Curology out. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning and I will walk you through how I prep for a photo shoot. So it's the next morning and I'm so tired today for some reason. I can't seem to wake up even after coffee. So Kate and I are gonna head down to the beach and go for a little swim and get some sun. And then after I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and do a little healthy grocery shop and I'll do a haul for you guys. So let's do it. I decided that I really wanted to go get a hydration IV. I don't always get hydration IVs. I mean, definitely I don't get one before every shoot. That would be like excessive and extremely expensive. But I haven't had one in a few months. And the photo shoot I'm doing tomorrow is for a skincare and makeup company. And the IVs always help my skin look really hydrated and glowy and nice. I have really dry skin, so that definitely helps. I mean, it doesn't stick around forever. It's definitely like a little temporary thing. But because the shoot's tomorrow, I thought, hey, why not go get an IV to look as good as I can for the shoot tomorrow. So I booked the first opening they have, and it's in two minutes. I'm really close, so hopefully I'm not late. But yeah, I love hydration IVs. I've talked about them before. They help you stay healthy. Um, it's a, basically a hydration IV infused with a bunch of different vitamins and especially with COVID going around right now, I don't want it. I'm trying so hard not to get it. I'm sanitizing, I'm doing everything in my power not to get it and I think that an IV will be a great little boost. Obviously, it's not going to protect me against the coronavirus but anything to boost my immunity is awesome right now. So yeah, I thought... Why not get an IV? I would usually just be sure to drink a ton of water before a shoot. I always have my Hydro Flask with me filled and I try to drink two of these every day. Just making sure you're well hydrated before a shoot will help you have enough energy for the shoot, will help you look well rested, it, help, it will help your skin look more hydrated and healthy. Hydration is key, but an IV is definitely not necessary. Alrighty, so I just finished my IV. I have the little gauze thing on my arm and it was super quick and easy and I already feel like I got like a little boost of energy which is nice and then um, I have to run into CVS and get um, like nippies which are like nipple covers. All models wear them for photo shoots. It's so much easier than having to wear a strapless bra because you don't know what shirt you're gonna be wearing. So I have to go get those. And then I also have to pick up my packages from my P.O. box. I said I was going to go to Trader Joe's earlier, which I still am. I'm going to do a little haul too, but I'm super hungry and I just called Kate and she's hungry too. So I'm going to get Chipotle and bring it home. I love Chipotle for an easy, healthy meal. Um, you might not think of Chipotle as like healthy, but I get a super healthy bowl and I always feel great when I eat it. So I'm gonna do all that now and then I will check in with you after. Now I'm just going to go to Chipotle and pick up our food. I ordered it on the app beforehand so it should be ready to get picked up. And I'm like low-key excited because there's a new Chipotle here and it's a drive through and I ordered our food on the app beforehand and I selected that I'd pick up in the Chipotle lane. That's what it's called. So let's see how that goes. I've never driven through a Chipotle before. It's like a weird concept to me, but first time for everything. Okay, so first impression, it's a really weird long drive through Um, I ordered on the app. It's for Shannon. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, so that was awesome. I'm gonna do that. I wish this location was closer to my house because I would do that all the time. Okay, so I just got home and I wanted to be sure I showed you guys what I get in my bowl because I said that I make it pretty healthy. I get extra lettuce, chicken, brown rice, pico de gallo, and guacamole, and it is so delicious. It's almost more like a salad than a burrito bowl. Alrighty, so we just got home from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, this is a combo of what I got and what Kate got. So some of the things aren't mine, but I'm gonna show you guys what we like to get at Trader Joe's. We like to keep it healthy like 85% of the time. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've showed you guys this in my last Trader Joe's haul. Their olive oil popcorn is my favorite. I actually really like their new I think it's called like Synergy or Synergistic something popcorn, but they were out tonight. So I got the olive oil one, but you should try both. Such a good snack when you're craving something like salty. And then we got a huge box of peaches. Um, their peaches have been so good lately. You have to get peaches while they're in season. So delicious. And we got some raspberries. We like to get the big cases of fruit because we eat so much fruit in this house um we also got blueberries but i don't see them yet um spinach for salads and in smoothies a box of sweet cherries these look so good and this is our favorite coffee from trader joe's it's the colombian coffee it's really good we actually got three boxes of it because we like coffee a lot and we go through it really fast and we always seem to run out before we go back to the store so we decided getting three boxes of it was a good idea um and then i got this go macro bar it is the sunflower butter um and chocolate flavor this is one of my favorite go macro bar flavors and i like to have these in the house um, to take with me to photo shoots. It's a great snack that gives you good energy. So I'll be taking that with me tomorrow. And then I have never had these before, but I saw them and I had to try them because I was craving something kind of sweet. Um, it is the Thai tea mini mochis and they are uh, non-dairy, which is great because I don't eat dairy and they look like this. So I'm excited to try those. And then we got the Trader... I don't know why I'm saying that they're Trader Joe's. Everything's Trader Joe's. But we got the Tater Tots. Um, these are so good. We like to have a bag of Tater Tots in the freezer because it's a great snack whenever you want something a little naughty um, or just delicious. And then we got, this is my favorite hummus that they have. It's the organic spicy avocado. It is so good. I eat like one of these a week. It's delicious. I usually eat it with the rice crackers. I already have some, so I didn't buy another bag, but I like it with the mini rice crackers. And then we got organic oven roasted turkey breast. This is my favorite um, turkey meat that they sell. And then up oh, here are the blueberries. We got a giant thing of blueberries. We will... If we don't eat these all this week, we will be sure to freeze them because we love frozen blueberries. It's like one of our favorite frozen treats. And then, oh my gosh, I got quite a few treats, I didn't realize. Um, <laughs> I got these Gone Berry Crazy Dark Chocolate Strawberries. They're frozen. And I've never had these before, so I'm excited to try these too. I didn't realize I got a few things that I've never had before, but that will be fun to try. And, and then Kate... Kate got these cold brew latte dessert bars. That sounds so good. I've never had those. Um, oh, oat milk. I usually get Oatly if I go to a different grocery store, but Trader Joe's has their own um, non-dairy oat beverage. It looks like this. It's pretty similar to 
oatly just like a little bit different i can tell the difference because i'm an oatly snob but this is really good when you just go to trader joe's and you need oat milk um we got these giant carrots partly because we will eat them partly because franklin loves carrots uh, and then i got broccoli um it's just broccoli pretty self-explanatory and then I got these for Franklin to try. They are the mint of mint of breath bones. He's never had those before, so he will be excited to try something new. And then I got this pumpkin seed and flax granola. I've actually never had this either. I usually get the hemp seed granola um, from Whole Foods, but they don't have or they didn't have that one at Trader Joe's. I don't know if they sell it usually, but. I decided to get this because I've been making more smoothie bowls at home and I like to have a little bit of granola on top. And then, ooh, I got some green tea. Just unsweetened green tea. I love to have that in the house. But that is it for the Trader Joe's haul. Um, I hope you guys liked seeing what I got from Trader Joe's this time. And really just the main things I like to keep in mind before a photo shoot is eating healthy, working out. I didn't work out today, but I usually try to work out most days, keeping my skin routine consistent and simple so that my skin is ready and prepped for the photo shoot and definitely staying hydrated and getting a lot of sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep early tonight, so I'm well rested for my shoot tomorrow, but that's it guys. I hope you guys liked this video and be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you liked, what you wanna see in upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.